So I bought this KNH Thermo Kitty Cafe. It's a heated outdoor double diner. The bowls are dishwasher safe, uh, keeps wet food or water thawed out so it does not freeze. It has removable stainless steel bowls, a durable design, and it says it's 8.5 inches by 14 inches by 3 inches. It also says heated, just plug it in. Um, so right now, all of the outside water is starting to freeze. Even that big tub of water that I have in that plastic bin, I thought that was not going to freeze so quickly, uh, but even that is freezing up. So I'm going to use this outside. I'm going to test it out and see how it works. And here's what the back of the box looks like. So let's open this up. And here's what it looks like when you open it up. It has a little thank you from KNH Products. Uh, we hope you enjoy your purchase. And then here are the care and instructions for the Thermo Kitty Cafe. It says, warning, this is an electrical product. Read all directions and precautions carefully before operating. Failure to properly follow all directions and instructions may lead to electrical shock of fire, which could cause serious bodily injury for household use only. Uh, when using electrical appliances, basic safety precautions should always be followed, including the following. One, read all instructions. Two, to protect against electrical hazards, do not immerse cord, plug, or appliance in water or other liquid. Three, close supervision is necessary when used by or near children. Four, always unplug from outlet when not in use. Five, do not operate any electrical appliance with a damaged cord or plug. Or if the appliance malfunctions or has been damaged in any matter, return all malfunctioning appliances to the factory for examination. Do not use appliance for other than its intended use. Do not puncture plastic housing for any reason. For use with 110, 120 volt AC only. And then here's a diagram of the housing and the removable stainless steel bowls. Care instructions to clean the stainless steel bowls are hand and dishwasher safe. Simply remove them from the base housing to clean the housing wipe clean with a damp cloth. And then it comes with a limited one year warranty. And there's nothing on the other side. So here is what this double diner looks like. I'm actually going to be putting water in the big one and maybe food in the little one. I don't know, I might use them both for water. I do have the uh, automatic feeder for the dry food. Um, I really just got this uh, to keep a water bowl from freezing outside. So now here's the bottom of the unit and this is what it says on the bottom. It says store indoors after winter season. Inspect cord before using. Do not immerse. Do not use with extension cords. Read all instructions. Uh, this appliance has a polarized plug. One blade is wider than the other. To reduce the risk of electric shock, this plug is intended to fit in a polarized outlet only one way. If the plug does not fit fully in the outlet, reverse the plug. If it still does not fit, contact a qualified electrician. Do not modify the plug in any way. When servicing, use only identical replacement parts. Um, it says it's 50, 60 hertz, 120 volts, and 30 watts. Now, I plan on using this with extension cords. Um, I did not know that it says don't use with extension cords, but I don't have any electrical outlets in my backyard. The only outlet that I have is on the side of the house in the front of the house. So if I was to not use this with an extension cord, then this water feeder is going to end up on the side of my house toward the front of my house. Um, which is like away from the food and everything. Maybe I might end up putting it there, but I want to see how um, it functions on an extension cord. And so here it is set up outside. I put some water in it. There's water in both sections. And then I have it connected to an outdoor extension cord. The outdoor extension cord is connected to one of those uh, GFCI outlets. Um, so if there is any kind of issue with the current flowing, um, through these cords, it will automatically shut off. It's one of those like protection circuits that you have in the kitchen. Um, and then just to protect the connection, I have this uh, plastic container. Um, I just cut some holes in the end to fit the uh, plugs into it. And then I've duct tape 
around them and that should keep that connection from becoming submerged. So I am going to let this sit out here for a while and come back and see what happens. Let's see if it froze. And this is Stella inspecting, inspecting the water area. So it is now the next day and I just came out here to refill these bowls and they did not freeze overnight. Meanwhile, it was about 20 degrees last night. Um, I refilled them with some warm water uh, from inside and yeah, this little thermo kitty uh, pet water and food heater works really great. So here is this heated kitty cafe pet bowl. Uh, as you can see, we got some snow overnight. We got about three or four inches of snow. And although I cleared the snow away from around this pet bowl, um, nothing that was in this pet bowl froze. On the right side, I had water. And on the left side, I had food and it looks like uh, they filled up with snow, but then it heated up enough to melt the snow. So I'm just gonna dump this out and refill it with some fresh water.